welcome back to another video of the HTML and CSS web development course. So, in the last few videos we have been building our uh, portfolio project and this is the fourth video of this section of the, the video where we're actually building the portfolio. So, the last videos we built our main container, our second container and our third container. That looks all pretty pretty nice. And now we're gonna build our fourth container. So, where were we? We're gonna check where the container ends. That's over here. And we're gonna open up a new div class. Oh. And we're gonna call this fourth container. Then we're gonna make this see small. It's easier. So, okay. We go to our index.css. First thing we do, we're going to create our fourth container class and we're going to give, give it the same properties as the second container so we can copy paste this. Then we go down under the skill list or the skill item, sorry, we're going to create a comment and we're going to call this fourth container content and we're gonna close it up very nice so let's see the fourth container is our portfolio so it's just a few images but with what we do and what we um, what we created pretty pretty nice okay so in this case we need two times column six and what we're gonna do we're gonna call row oh we're gonna call div of class row we're gonna create a call three here and on top of that we're gonna div class call three so okay now we're gonna copy paste this one okay so what i did We created now two call three and one call six. So three plus three, three plus three plus six is twelve as well. So here and here we're gonna call image of class. We're gonna call this portfolio. Now we're gonna call this port image. SRC images dash landing page. And we're gonna close this one. And then the second one. We're gonna call image class of port image src images dash uh, desktop. Okay, I'm gonna save both files. Let's see what happens. This is a lot better because now we have like <coughs> this looks this looks cool, cool, cool. So we're gonna give the portfolio images margin dash top or if it wasn't 90 pixels last time we're gonna delete these two this one and we're gonna call here we're gonna call block because if I'm not mistaken it should center everything this looks nice this looks pretty pretty nice so I'm gonna show you this so inspect element as you can see now, the, 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 this is the call, column of three. And we have here the second column of three. And this is the third. Pretty cool. But we have to make some small changes. Mm, because we have here margin left. Let's make this a margin left, left of auto. And then we're going to give the image margin dash left of auto and we're gonna give it a margin dash right of auto so um, maybe as you can see I'm not gonna edit these mistakes out because this is exactly how development works it's not like when you when we code something that everything goes as planned it really doesn't go like that and that is something I really want to show you guys that 
how actual coding goes and this is actually how website building goes you try something it doesn't work you're gonna try something else so okay as you can see this is not working and we go back here I'm gonna give this one 20x as we did before So this looks pretty nice. As you can see the image, the image actually resize of the, the column actually resizes. So we fix that. So the next one is gonna be the call six. So we're gonna open that one up. We're gonna call div class. And the div class we're gonna call um portfolio. For new macular, we just sorry, just really simple portfolio. Open that one up. So we're gonna call h1 of class um, portfolio dash h1 and close it. And we're gonna call this portfolio. Okay. What we're gonna do? We're gonna call paragraph of class portfolio dash p. Sorry. Close it up. And we're gonna. Go back to our Lorem Ipsum upstairs. And we're gonna copy this one as well. And we're gonna paste it inside here and save. Let's check this out. So as you can see, as you can see this looks uh, not, this, this doesn't look really nice. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna check. Now we're gonna do something that I was talking about before. So we go back to our first, and then we have here like the intro P. Font weight, font size. No, this is one more bit, so second container maybe. <laughs> ah, here it is. Introduction. So when we copy this one, and we're gonna paste it as a second class inside the portfolio H1. And we're gonna save it. Let's see what happens. Wait a second, one, one. No, we're not gonna, we're gonna paste it in the portfolio, not portfolio dash H1. And then, theoretically, yes. So what happened here? Well, it's really simple. So we created a class of portfolio for this small container. And instead of rewriting all the information for the portfolio, we used the introduction class as well and we call that as a second class so what it does in this case the portfolio adopts properties from both classes and it and it actually works it looks really nice and it's it's responsive and this this is this is really a good job we did a great job here this is pretty pretty cool and it looks really nice let's check the design as you can see we have to make this a little bit, a um, little bit um, different because it's too low. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna call it dot introduction. Oh wait a second! We already have an introduction class, don't we? But in this case, we're gonna call it dot dot port folio. And we're gonna give this a margin dash top of 90 pixels let's see what happens let's see if this works because i don't know i'm gonna give this 20 pixels let's see if it works okay then we make it zero this looks a lot better Okay, pretty cool. Maybe we can center this one a little bit more, maybe. Hmm? So we go back to um, portfolio images, that's this one. We're gonna give this a margin top of 110. Let's see what happens. Oh, I used 1000 again, didn't I? Huh? 110, I'm sorry. 
this looks a lot better. This, this actually looks really nice. So, this goes really quick, right? We're really building a portfolio website. This is actually pretty amazing. So, that was the end of the third container, actually. It looks, in my opinion, looks amazing. In this video, we actually used another column, so the column three. We learned how to give uh, a div class or container uh, multiple classes to adopt from. And it looks really nice. I think we are doing a great job here. So this was the end of this video. I'm really proud of you guys if you are able to follow me here. It's amazing. I really think we did a great job. And yeah, this is the end of this video. In the next video, we're going to build uh, the pricing. The pricing is going to be a little bit more work, but it's I think it's going to be amazing. It's going to be nice. We're going to learn how to build cards and we're going to work with uh, the unordered lists again. And we're going to add some pricing. So I hope you learned something in this video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And let's go to the next.